we try to open up a non-SOLIDWORKS file without the use of 3D interconnect, it's going to prompt us if we want to start to go through feature recognition. And that's going to take this imported geometry and try to convert features into SOLIDWORKS features. You can run through these prompts, work out our file, and it's going to generate that same model, but with SOLIDWORKS features. So that way my feature tree has revolves, boss extrudes, has my chamfers and fillets and my holes. But sometimes, you know, it's going to generate features that we don't want. In this case, I might have not designed this as a revolve. The other thing is, you know, sometimes we only want to make changes to specific features. We want to change the size of a fillet or a chamfer. We want to modify the diameter of a hole. So rather than going through and running feature works on the entire thing, we can load feature works dynamically. This time, when I go to open up my step file, I'm going to say no to that prompt to proceed with the feature recognition. What we're left with when I say no is rather than a list of SOLIDWORKS features in my tree, I just have that imported body, something we're probably all familiar with if we just open up a step or an IGES file. If I wanted to at this point, I'd be able to run that feature recognition command and start to generate the entire thing into SOLIDWORKS features. But when I'm working with these imported files inside of SOLIDWORKS, all I need to do is right click on a SOLIDWORKS like feature. So those fillets, for example, it will recognize that fillet. I can edit that feature now and change that from 10 to five millimeters. And it's gonna modify it like any other SOLIDWORKS features. I can do the same thing for my chamfer here right click on it, go to edit it like I would if it was a SOLIDWORKS feature, and it's gonna generate that into my chamfer. So as long as it is a SOLIDWORKS-like feature, I have a pretty good chance of the feature works dynamically loading and allowing me to have a editable feature in my tree that I can change hole sizes, fillet sizes, chamfers without having to import, recognize, and turn that imported geometry into all SOLIDWORKS features, I can pick and choose the ones that I need to make changes to.